almost equally important, maybe, maybe as important, is the, what we're doing to our children with this trans insanity. I mean, this is almost my single issue. Um, we are chopping off the healthy body parts of young children without a 100% we are doing that. Well, we are definitely doing that. Without any inquisition that's, that's what it is. So into what's happening. I don't know what the ooing is about. I don't, I don't either. Pay attention, because well, I'm, I'm yeah, about to give you no, a truth bomb. The, no, Kids what, who are suffering from bullying or who have been sexually assaulted or who are going through normal puberty and feel uncomfortable in their bodies will say to their parents, I'm not sure, maybe I'm gender confused. They will send them into a psychiatrist or psychologist who are told by our organizations, the American Psychiatry Association and all the others that run their licensing, you must affirm. A firm is the only standard. And so the child gets told, you're right, you are secretly a boy or vice versa. And the child gets put on puberty blockers into cross-sex hormones, which sterilize a child and deprive the child of any chance of sexual pleasure for the rest of his or her life. We're talking about 9, 10, 11 year olds who cannot give informed consent. Then they have body parts chopped off by a medical establishment and by parents who mean well but believe in these doctors and they shouldn't. And when they inevitably get past the awkwardness of puberty or what have you and they want to turn around and detransition, those who love bomb them on Reddit saying, come on in, the water's fine, abandon them. They are depressed. They have changed their bodies forever in a way that is irreversible. And we are all sitting back saying, it's a remote issue, as Kamala Harris said. It's not remote. It's the issue of our time, both res with respect to children and women's rights. Well, uh, let's back up a little on that.